take each petal and push them back using their pincer fingers. It's a good fine motor activity. Pinch and push, pinch and push. And then you can just use your hand and flatten it like so. So you see how it makes a little flower? Now you're going to take your little flower stamper in your paint, swirl it around, make sure you're getting all the petals. You can even touch the petals in the paint like so, just to make sure they get covered. That's what I'm doing right now, just making sure they're all covered so when they stamp, they make a flower. You can make as few or as many flowers as you would like. Now that they're all covered, I'm going to take it and just stamp it on my paper. And again, I'm going to press down all the little petals just to make sure all the paint comes off. Again, your child can do that part too. You just have to guide them from going from paint to the paper just for preventative measures. And again, this flower may not be perfect. That's totally okay. It's just a fun activity to do. Okay. And your flower will probably look a little something like this. It's okay, it doesn't look perfect. Then your child can take their markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever it may be, making a stem and some leaves and some grass, like so. They can color in the middle of the circle when it's dry. They could put a butterfly, they could put a bird. That's a great opportunity for conversation, asking what do you want to put in your picture? I want to make a bird, I want to make a butterfly, and going through the process, okay, a butterfly has a body, and it has wings, and it has antennas, and going through the steps. Allowing for creativity is also great, so if they want to put a robot in, that's totally fine too. Going to make a sun. You can practice going over shapes that you see for mathematics, and it'll look a little something like this. Thanks for watching.